In the headlines, CARICOM training for border security officers underway in Dominica and Creole project launched for preserving Dominica's Creole culture. Hello and welcome to National Focus. I'm Prisca Gilliam. Stay tuned for details of the headline stories and others coming up. I believe in the natural order of things. I believe in the, in the harmony of things. You know, in everything we do, we have to keep it natural. I've been doing farming for now over a decade. My day is very hectic, but I make it light, you know, because I enjoy what I do. I enjoy producing the best quality goods and to make sure that the people that receive it, they receive the best that they can ever get. Right from the farm, everything that I grow, I process them back into the farm so that the same things that grow in the farm is what protects the farm. Tourism is my business. You know, it's not just dealing with the foreigners that come in, but it's preparing those things that when they come, they can feel and taste the difference in coming to this exotic island. And it starts with the farmer because we provide the things that they eat, that they taste, that they drink. I believe in my heart that it's my responsibility to provide quality. My name is Tony Alves and tourism is my business. Welcome back. Now for the details. Dominica is now one of the CARICOM states being trained in a joint border security training organized for border security officers. The 15th leg of the five-day training took off with an opening ceremony on Monday morning at the Flamboyant Hotel. Addressing the opening ceremony, the Honorable Minister for Justice, Immigration and National Security, Raven Blackmore, remarked that this training marked the commitment of government to join forces with other organizations and states for ensuring national security. Government is committed in ensuring that our border security personnel are equipped with the necessary tools of trade to combat and to mitigate against this illicit activities. The minister admonished the training officers to strengthen the collective networks for strengthening national security. The border is a link to our continuum of activities that threaten the national and regional interests. In response, therefore, you as agent of our borders must lead a collective effort that will apply multi-directional pressure on those criminals and bandits seeking to conduct illicit activities. You must understand the interconnected networks and must take the lead in cultivating partnership that facilitate the timely exchange of information and intelligence. The training is a project of the CARICOM Implementation Agency for Crime and Security impacts and is funded by the European Union 10th European Development Fund geared towards strengthening CARICOM's capacity to prevent and detect illegal activity at its borders. Impacts aims to facilitate delivery to the people of the region safe and secure borders while simultaneously spearheading capacity building initiatives and training for law enforcement and border security officers to ensure secure, just and free society. Assistant Director for Strategic Services in Impacts, Earl Harris, commented that as the region seeks to curb illegal activities on its borders, there must be a balance struck between the security measures and ensuring pleasant experiences for those who are not criminals. The region currently faces threats such as terrorism, illicit trafficking in small arms like weapons, human trafficking, illegal drugs, drugs, along with precursor chemicals and psychotropic substances. On the flip side, however, there's still the need to deliver to the demands of the law-abiding traveling public, national and visitors alike, who understand the need for increased security layers, but still expect a hassle-free travel experience. The training is being held under the theme strengthening CARICOM capacity to prevent and detect illegal activity at its borders and to enable increased prosecution and higher conviction rates. In more news, the Comité Pu Etile Quayol, KEC, 
has launched a two-year research project aimed at developing and advancing policy proposals to establish a center of excellence in the preservation and promotion of the Creole culture in Dominica. The launching ceremony took place at the Old Mill Cultural Center last Friday. Research activities will be carried out in Dominica and the United Kingdom. According to a press release from Keck, the research will assist in determining the current attitudes, a certain support for further institutionalizing the Creole culture and traditions and document critical aspects of the heritage for the sustainable development of all its dimensions. Research activities will be carried out here in Dominica and in the United Kingdom during 2018 and 2019. Key activities planned in Dominica include community workshops and focus groups, uh, focus group discussions in selected communities considered as Creole hubs in Dominica, a workshop in the Kalinago territory, a youth forum, and focus groups targeting youth. Uh, in addition, uh, there will be a, an international Creole symposium in 2019. Interviews with cultural elders, experts, and icons are also planned. Research activities in the United Kingdom will include an academic conference, a youth forum, focus group discussions, and public engagement workshops. Senior lecturer at the University of Bedfordshire in United Kingdom, Dominican Dr. Violet Coffey, is the principal researcher for the project. A major outcome is to initiate advocacy for establishing Dr. Dominica as a center for best practice, because you've heard it before I came here, for promotion, preservation of the Creole culture through the UNESCO Heritage Program. Rabes also spoke of some other anticipated outcomes of the research. The research will lead to the development of a policy paper on Creole language and culture, two books, uh, and a video documentary. A project website and social media initiatives will provide visibility and information on the project on an ongoing basis. Chief Cultural Officer Raymond Lawrence is the chairman of KEC. KEC was formed in 1981 by the Cultural Division and have since introduced now national events such as the Creole Day and Heritage Day and have also produced a Creole Dictionary. We were able to publish a book called Powell Creole which contains a book of over 500 proverbs. Another book, Me Bredex, um, containing several Creole expressions that we use in Dominica. Another publication, Tim Tim Glodo Boot, which contains several Tim Tim expressions. Tilis Twe Dominic, which features uh, some of Dominica's folk stories and which was compiled by Delia Coffee Weeks. We were able as well, before he died, to compile some of the courts of Lawrence Romance. The group has also introduced the Quayal Spelling Bee for primary schools and the Quayal Choral Speech Competition for secondary schools. Over the past 10 years, Keck has also provided a scholarship in the name of Marcel Jamala Fountain for students at the Dominica State College who are heavily involved in culture. Six students have been awarded so far. The Creole Research Project is conducted in collaboration with the University of Bedfordshire in the United Kingdom, the Cultural Division and the National Cultural Council. And finally, this news time, the Honorable Minister for Justice, Immigration and National Security, Raven Blackmore, has highlighted the commitment of government to ensure that illegal activity occurring through the borders of Dominica are curbed. The minister was speaking at the opening ceremony for a week-long training program for border security officers on Monday. To place on record my appreciation for the tremendous work, not only the police officers, but the custom officers have been doing over the years. The minister made known his appreciation for the officers who have been upholding the standards of Dominica in crime prevention. The government of Dominica will continue to employ robust fighting mechanisms to dismantle criminal organization and the illegal drug flows that continue to threaten the very fabric of our society. 
And that's all for this edition of National Focus. Be sure to follow GIS on facebook.com forward slash GIS News Dominica. And also follow us on Twitter at GIS Dominica. You can also catch up on past National Focus newscasts on our GIS Dominica YouTube channel. From all of us here on the GIS News production team, I am Prisca Julian. Thanks for watching.